Now we go to our landmark auto game. Fitzgerald and Cook. The Hornets coming out on the field early on. Try, they need a win actually, but it, it'll be tough against a very good Fitzgerald team. Cook QB Connor Hilliard attempts to pass, but it is, it is bobbled and intercepted. First of many mistakes for Cook in the first quarter. They were able to put, out, put up a three and out on Fitz. Good D, but then they botch the punt, and it is returned by, or it is picked up by Fitzgerald. And they would take advantage this time, the handoff to Taylon Galden for the score, puts Fitzgerald up 7 0. And then another special teams mistake, a high snap forces the punt. Punter, or punter to pick up as much as he can and great field position once again. Uh, Fitz takes, Fitzgerald takes advantage of Marius Galden, takes it for the score up 14-0. Cook would finally get some offense going at the end of the first quarter. Connor Hilliard connects with Mason Wiley Jr. for a long passing touchdown to put them within seven. They are down 14-7 at that point, uh, but they would not be able to close the gap totally. Fitzgerald would win 28-13. Fox 31's Matt Pritchard was out at Cook High Memorial Stadium tonight to soak in the action. Matt, how was it out there tonight? Yeah, thank you, Pat. Uh, sorry, uh, you know, it's, it's a long distance here, so I'm having trouble hearing you. But uh, quite an exciting game tonight. Tonight, Fitzgerald coming away the victor, obviously, 28-13. And the story of the game for Cook County, mistakes. That's the reason they lost the game. You saw it there in the highlight, multiple mistakes over and over and over again. And it ended up coming down to the wire uh, for them. They were up for, I mean, pardon me, they were down 14-13 late in the fourth. It looked like they might be able to make things happen, but they just struggled on third down. They struggled on any chance that they seemed to get. So a tough loss for this Cook County team tonight to Fitzgerald, who also really didn't look that dominating. We were used to seeing Fitzgerald just run over teams this season. Tonight, they sort of just took advantage of Cook County's mistakes, and they made it count, winning the game tonight again 28-13. to Let's send it back to Pat and John in the studio with more highlights tonight on The Blitz. It was Fitzgerald and Cook. Some, ev some very tough choices for next week. Valdosta at Lowndes, always, always a classic. And then a couple region games uh, here locally. Chris County will come into Westover, who's suddenly the favorites in 4A Region 1. Cairo will travel to Worth County, try to, try to get back on the winning track. And Brooks County and Fitzgerald, also a good one.